Welcome back everyone to the Awesome Bringer channel, I am Brendan, and welcome to Freddy Fazbear's Pizza Simulator. Or, welcome to Freddy Fazbear's Pizza Simulator. I don't know why I said back. I haven't done this before, have I? I'm pretty sure I haven't. But it's a simulator game of a pizzeria! And I cannot wait because I love simulator games and I love pizzerias, so I want to make my own pizzeria. Let's get started. Ooh! Design pizza or go to pizzeria? I love to design my pizza. Oh boy! I get to choose my toppings. Uh, That's it? But I love mushrooms and me some pepperoni and how about some sausage? You know what? Let's do all of the above! <laughs> I'm joking, I hate olives and I hate peppers. I don't really like onions. Sausage I'm okay with. Mushrooms I'm okay with. Actually, mushrooms are delicious, what am I saying? Pepperoni is okay. I like pepperoni. Let's start! Oh! Do I go to the pizzeria now? Is that it? Okay. Ooh! Oh, I love these games! Throw pizza shift? Oh, cool. Have some pizza. Have some pizza. You know, I should just get the guy who does King Candy who says, Have some candy! Instead of he says, Have some pizza! Sort of idea. Uh... Sticky keys! Get out of here! I knew that was gonna happen. Oh, I hit both of them! That's awesome! <laughs> I didn't know you could hit both of them! I got you. Uh... Excuse me, dude. You're making this way difficult on me. Oh, stupid sticky keys. I ran out of pizza because of you! Peekaboo. Hey, guess what? I'm winning! <laughs> I, this is gonna take forever! Hello? I got you! Restack the pizzas! Oh, cool, I got the middle guy. Oh, uh, oh, uh, yes. I'm almost done. What, what? I don't get this. <laughs> Am I getting all those points? I love it. It's a hundred points for me. Awesome. It crashed my game. Well, that was a great gameplay, was it? Uh... Uh... Hello? You... You look nice! Who are you? I should right now clarify I have never played a Five Nights at Freddy's game. But I do know the lore, so... <laughs> yes, I know that's baby. I know you're baby. But I don't want to be here with you. Cause that tape and employees safe employees only paragraph four. Where's one, two, and three? Prompt one results. Additional notes. Uh, okay. Uh. Begin tape. Leaving dead space. Three, two, one. The purpose of this tape is to test automated response times and reactions from vintage interactive attractions following audio stimuli. If you are playing this tape, that means that not only have you been checking outside at the end of every shift, as you were instructed to do, but also that you have found something that meets the criteria of your special obligations under paragraph 4. Follow these instructions, document response times, then safely secure the space before leaving. Paragraph the four. Room, you are not to return. What's Begin paragraph audio four? Part in three, two, one.
Document results. Uh, that's no. Begin audio prompt in three, two, one. This is freaky. I don't like this noise. Document results. I guess that's a no. I don't know what I'm supposed to be checking for. Begin audio prompt in three, two, one. What am I checking for? If she doesn't move? What am I supposed to be checking for? What is paragraph four? I wish I knew. Ugh. This is getting document results. No. Begin audio prompt in three. What? Two. One. What's going on? Is now my game crashed? Oh! It's a new day. It's your time to shine. It's time to take your career into your own hands. You've saved money your whole life. Great! Now it's time to put all your eggs into one basket and take a huge gamble on your future. A gamble that comes with a 100% chance of success yeah, in some yeah, cases. Yeah, I totally trust the what joke. What are we talking about? We're talking about becoming a Fast Bear Entertainment franchisee. That's cool. right, restaurant ownership and management. Something almost anyone can do with a limited degree of success. Sure, yeah. it's a lot of money to invest, but everyone's doing it. And that means it's safe <laughs> and lucrative. With your initial investment, you'll receive everything you need to get started including a small room, some tables, and electricity. But don't forget about the money you had left over after buying your franchise package. Yeah. Use it to decorate, buy a stage, buy attractions and animatronics, and much, much more. Now, let's take a look at a few things that will help you get started as a Fazbear Entertainment franchisee. Sure. Such as atmosphere. Making sure your establishment has an inviting atmosphere is essential to bringing in new customers. Entertainment. Having a lot of entertainment value in your restaurant will ensure that customers come back. True. Bonus revenue. Coin-operated games and attractions can generate additional revenue during the day, which means more money in your pocket, ready for reinvestment. Health and safety. There may be times when you purchase something of questionable quality, and we don't blame you. Cutting corners is just good business. But there are steps you can take to ensure you don't get sued for it. And that brings us to liability. Being a thrifty shopper is smart, but be aware that buying things on sale comes with a certain amount of risk. <laughs> Aside from the daily risk of lawsuits, there's also the risk that something might be hiding inside whatever you just purchased with that steeply discounted price tag. Of course, that would only be a serious danger if there were something outside that's been trying to get in for months now, which we are not confirming to be the case. Yeah. This concludes sure. the amount of help we're legally obligated to provide. Remember, you are now the face of the newly rebranded Freddy Fazbear's Pizza. Wear that smile with pride and let's make some money. Oh, Fazbear I love entertainment is not responsible money. for disappearance, death, or dismemberment. You're not. You should be. I don't know if I'm going to die, though. Oh, cool. Uh. Two-step guide to restaurant management. Use the catalog cl mode to purchase item animatronics and other supplies. Cool. So we can buy the item with the green button. Use the blueprint mode to place items, upgrade items, and upgrade your floor plan. Sounds like a plan, man. I'm ready. I think I am. Let's get started. <laughs> Day Let's one. Let's see how much cash you had left over after purchasing your franchise package. Great. That should be more than enough. $100! Now On your left are your product catalogs. You can unlock more expensive catalogs by simply purchasing items for your pizzeria. Aww. Use the arrows in the bottom right of the item window to browse the products for each catalog. When you're finished shopping, click the button labeled Blueprint Mode to place your items. You can switch back and forth between catalog mode and blueprint mode as often as you like before opening your doors to the public. When you're ready to open your restaurant for business for the day, click the button labeled finished in blueprint mode. Give it a try Mr. and do some shopping. It's Mr. Hugs! <laughs> and number one crate. 
Okay. Paper pals. I love pals that are made of paper. That's basically all my pals. Should we go cheap or should we go expensive? Sanitation station. That is one hundred dollars. No, thank you. What to buy? A oh, duck pond. A ball pit. I'll buy the ball pit. I mean the duck pond. The ball pit. Let's buy a cooling system because that sounds like you need something like that in the restaurant. What else? <laughs> These things are very cheap, why not? Uh, let's buy some colorful plates. Cups and plates. Let's go into blueprint mode. Because I don't think I can spend anything. Ooh! I like it. It's like a cabin. Or like pretty much sponsorship author. This time pop soda. I have a popping good time with this time pop. This time pop ink is offering you to pay for advertising in your establishment. $250? Sure, why not? I love $250. <laughs> now I have like banners showing everything. Sure, why not? Why not add a coin slot? Play test. Oh, a hundred. A hundred again. Is this good? Hundreds. Ooh, it gives me more fast rating. Wonder what that's for. I'm going to try to get that as high as I can. 100, 100. 500! Wow, there's 500s. Cool. Ooh, I got a bonus of $100. That's actually pretty cool. How many play tokens left? Oh, I guess that's how you play these things. Oh, that, that makes much sense. a lot of sense here. 100. 100. 500 again. Wow, this is... This has become my favorite game. <laughs> cool. Let's do it again. 100. Well, this is fun. Aww. Ooh, I got more money. How much money can I get from this? One hundred, one hundred, one hundred. I love it. Probability games where you're never going to get all 500s. <laughs> uh, that, that would be fun. That would be fun if I get all 500s one round. I wonder what would happen if I'd get all 500s. Yay! Money! I'm getting. I almost. I, I got more money than when I started off with. That's the funny thing about this here. I'm just going to see if I can play off all those tokens. Let's see. Uh oh. 700 again. That's like my lucky number, apparently. What the game? <laughs> it's 700. 
Okay, I... Hello? Seriously, my lucky number is 700 in this game. <laughs> 700 for the win! Can I get 700 again, or am I going to just get 300? Yeah, 300. Oh well. I'm out of tokens. Yep, that's gone. Yep. Hello, paper pals. <laughs> this is a nice little establishment, but I'm finished. Where I'm going now? Your restaurant is now officially open. Yay! Awesome. That doesn't mean your job is finished, however. Oh. You have a lot of work to do while patrons eat their pizza in the other room. From your terminal, you have supplies to buy, papers to print, and repairs to make. Once you've taken care of all the items on your to-do list, you can log off for the day and get out of there. Money for supplies and repairs comes out of petty cash, so don't worry about it coming out of your pocket. We've got you covered. The only money you have to worry about is if you choose to upgrade any of the equipment in your office. Now, on to other matters. Something to be aware of is that the ventilation system and your terminal are pretty loud and may prevent you from hearing things in adjoining air vents. That won't be a problem if there is nothing in the vents. However, if you feel that something might be in the vents, you have a few tools at your disposal to protect yourself. You can shut off your terminal and the ventilation system at any time to decrease the amount of attention you are drawing to yourself. Also, shining your light directly into a vent will most likely prevent anything from jumping out. You also have three tools available from the terminal itself. There is a motion detector, an audio decoy, and a secondary ventilation unit. Keep in mind, however, that you can only have one of these active at any given time. Now get to it. Simply log off when you've completed your tasks for the day and you can go get some coffee. Cool! But what will jump out of my vents, rats? I sure hope it's rats. Ugh. I don't have any animatronics, so nothing should scare me. <laughs> Says the guy who does not know what he's talking about. Two times printer. Yeah, I have not played any other Five Nights at Freddy's game, except for the test part on this. So this seems simple enough. Um, should I do upgrades this early on in the game? Why not? Two times two printer, high speed uplink, hire handyman. I definitely got a hire handyman, but I could do a two times two printer or a high speed uplink. Whatever these things do, I I know what printer does, so I might as well do printer. Order me some cups. <laughs> oh boy, that makes a lot of noise. Ugh. <laughs> I can beat this news. Okay. Oh, ad. Skip my ads. Do I have to do that all over again? Thanks, ads, for making my life miserable. Is that a phone? Who has phone? Oh, the noises this computer makes. Oh boy. Order utensils. Oh boy. Is there anything coming from me? I don't think there should be. In all honesty, I don't know. Oh well. Let's keep on ordering things, pizza kits. Kits for pizza. Yeah! We want them to have their pizza. Hello, freaky paintings. Is that a clown? That is one freaky clown. Okay, looks like time for advertising. Oh! Where's that printer? Is it like right next to me? Oh boy, that takes like forever. What printer do I have? Oh boy. 
I love it. Boink. Why do I keep paintings that are literally were drawn by children in my office? Makes no sense. Maybe it makes sense. Maybe these children are mine. Maybe. Maybe they are mine. Maybe they are mine. You know? I might have children. Maintenance. Unclog those toilets! There's nothing coming after me, is there? Good. Because I really think it's only gonna be rats. Probably big, nasty rats. Why don't I have any vent covers on these vents? You know? Keep the pests outside. Where is my door behind me? Oh, hello. Replace the bolts. Hmm. Is this it? Hello. <gasps> Yay. I think that's it. Yep, I can log Good off job. for the day. It looks like you're getting the hang of this. Now let's just focus on getting you through your first week. There's a big party here Saturday, and you should view that day as your ultimate test. Make it through Saturday, and you will have proven yourself as the successful entrepreneur that we all know you can be. Yes, I love parties. Drinks all around. Oh wait, that's weddings. Oh. Congratulations on completing your first day. However, your job isn't over just yet. There is another aspect to your end of day routine. Oh. That is inspecting and salvaging any animatronics found in the alley outside the back door. Things are found here quite often. And while we aren't sure why, what we do know is that they can be used for parts, oh. which can mean a much needed revenue boost before starting your next day. Of course, as with everything else in this line of work, those benefits come with risk. The safest thing to do is to throw it back outside, but then you get no money for the salvage. Choose to keep it, and you run the risk of certain negative consequences, namely death, should the item in question not be as docile as it first appeared. If you do decide to try to salvage it, then you must complete the maintenance checklist. During this testing phase, check on the animatronic frequently. If you feel that it is becoming unstable, use the taser provided to you. You can use it three times without damaging the hardware. Every use over three, however, will decrease the item's salvage value. Before you is an animatronic found in the back alley. We are unsure of its origins. It is your job to complete the maintenance checklist before claiming it as salvage. Or, if you choose to, you can throw it back into the alley where you found it and forfeit payment. Please make your choice now. Uh, $500? That's a lot of money. More than I started with. But this guy looks creepy. Uh, what do you mean you don't know where you found it? Ugh. Okay, let's salvage it. Is it worth the money? With the maintenance checklist. Remember, use your company issued taser to return the animatronic to a neutral state if you feel that it's becoming unstable or aggressive. Oh. You can only use it three times before it begins to damage the animatronic and decrease its value. Begin audio prompt in three. Does that say press two, control? One. Oh, I hate these noises. Document results. Uh, I cannot see those. Not at all. Document results. Uh, no. Nope. Begin audio prompt oh. in three, two, one. Hi. <laughs> Document results. No. Begin audio prompt in three. I don't like you. Go away. <laughs> I'm okay. I'm okay. Just begin with the playing thing. Is that the right thing I'm... 
What does that say? Press space. Oh, space. Two, one. <laughs> oh boy! Love it! Noises every day! It's my favorite! Document results. No! Begin uh, hello! In three, two, one. Document results. Begin audio prompt in three. Get away from me. You're getting too close. I don't like it. Two, one. I think I'm doing this right. He did have three electric shocks, so if he gets too close, I just press it. I don't like this one. This one's scary. Just think of it as Beethoven music. Let's move on. <laughs> what does these sounds do to them? Make them go dead. You have completed the maintenance checklist and may Ooh. proceed with the salvage. Well done. End tape. Thanks. Thanks Did I do it? Me join the party. I'll try not to disappoint. Yay! Ooh, yes! 34 visitors! I love it! I didn't see any of them. No lawsuits, that's awesome. Wow, $926! Wow. So I'm afraid that's all I have time for today. Apparently this is getting interesting. But it looks like we're back in here and with more things to buy. I love it. But we'll continue this in the next episode if I decide to come back to this. Basically how I decide to come back to this is that thumbs up button. You pretty much hit the thumbs up button and that will tell me how much you guys enjoyed this video. So anyways, make sure you hit the subscribe button and the bell icon to be notified of more videos because there's going to be definitely more videos to come. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye.